So today we are going to learn about punctuation in English. It's a very important topic. So let's get started. First, we are going to learn about capital letters. So capital letters are always used at the beginning of the sentence, as we know. Yeah, and they are also used for proper nouns like names of places, people, brand, and the letter I when you are talking about yourself. Now full stop. Full stop is one more a very important uh, exclamation mark which you need to learn, which is used at the end of the sentence. Every time when you see a full stop, you must stop. So I must stop at the end of this sentence. Same. Uh, now I want to learn about semicolon. Now semicolon is a punctuation mark which connects the two separate but related independent clauses like I miss the bus I guess I am walking to school so these two sentences are connecting each other and then they are related to independent clauses so here we use the punctuation mark uh, semicolon okay so I hope it is understood now next you are going to learn about colon so colon is a punctuation mark which introduces or points to other directly related text like I have got one more question colon what are you doing here okay so now question mark question marks are used at the end of the sentence to express uncertainly indicating a question yes now let's see what is a comma a comma is a punctuation mark which indicates that the pause in the sentence uh, commas are also help they have to clarify the meaning for the reader. Now, exclamation point, a very interesting mark which is used at the end of the sentence to express something, to express the feelings, the strong emotions. Like that cow is so cute. So we are expressing our thoughts, our feelings. Yeah, yeah. So now next one is apostrophe. So apostrophe here is, is an important punctuation mark which is used to indicate the omission of letters or the figures or the possessive case or the plural of letters or the figures so I hope you understand that see ya so I hope this punctuation was greatly understood by you and this topic is clear to all so I hope let's meet in the next lecture